Welcome back. It is the hottest ride in the auto scene right now. Callaway Cars rolling out the first ever Corvette station wagon. We are getting a look under the hood this morning. Joining us right now here on the plaza is Callaway Cars CEO Reeves Callaway. Reeves, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Yeah, we've got these cars behind us that do not look like station wagons. But before we get to the aero wagon, tell us about the white Callaway Corvette right here. This is the highest performance car ever built and sold in America, and it's available at the GM dealer, and it's produced by us as an engineering company. So this was not retrofitted, you know, uh, converted in any way? Oh, yes. This is uh, a lot of specialty work done by Callaway on the way to the dealer from its manufacturing at GM. Callaway has this great uh, history. This is your 40th year. This is our 40th year and our 30th working with GM. And, and this is a business you started, what, in your garage? Started in the back of the house in Connecticut. Oh, wow. That must give you great satisfaction. Congratulations. Yeah, if I could only have seen ahead. <laughs> well, good for you. Let's check out the Callaway Corvette Aero Wagon. That's the red one over here. Tell me about this car. The Aero Wagon is a treatment to the back of the car that increases the luggage space and makes the car stylistically look... What do you think, the difference between the two? I, I, I mean, I, I just tweeted out to our, our followers does this really look like a station wagon to you? I don't know. Do you think this is a station wagon, you guys? No. No way, right? No. I mean, it's a Corvette. So how, how do you make the claim that this is a station wagon? How many golf bags can you fit in here? <laughs> no, you tell us. Three. Yeah. Three right. golf bags can fit you. in this trunk. Show okay. us. So. You ready? Wow. That's big. That's big. So that's why you say it's a station wagon. Yeah. <laughs> it's a stretch, but it's a You get the, you get the storage, um, <laughs> but when you get in it, it's really like a sports car. Should we do that? Yeah. Let's go check out the inside. You're Come driving. On. I'm driving. You're driving. All right. Here we go. Wow, this is cool. Ah! You got to you fall into this. Everything you want in a Corvette. This, right? Tell me about the what, what's in this car. You know, 757 horsepower. Wow. Is that enough? <laughs> I think so. It's just about as much as the tires can handle in a really beautifully crafted, you know, eight-speed automatic, 206-mile-an-hour uh, car. 206 miles. Big question now for Reeves, how much does it cost? What's the answer? Well, it probably costs less than you think it does because the base price of a car like this is about 75000 and the one the way that this is optioned up is about 130,000. I see. So there's the range. Okay. What do people normally put in a car like this? What are the most important things that people want in, in their, whether it's an aero wagon or, or a sports car? Most important is power. So when we look under the hood, you'll see how we make 757 horsepower. I mean, poof. Incredible. Yeah. So is, is there a lot of technology? I mean, normally when we do a story on the auto sector, there's so much technology that goes into a car. Same thing here? Same thing here. And, you know, the real deal is that the best uh, technology in the business is developed by GM. Right. And they give us the world's best starting point. Re really great stuff. Reeves, great to have you on the program. Thanks, thanks so much. And thanks for bringing these rides along.